subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, A Guide to Python Next, Function and For Loop Introduction In Python, the next, function is often used in conjunction with the for loop to iterate through elements in an iterable one at a time. This combination provides a convenient way to traverse sequences like lists, tuples, and strings, fetching the next item in each iteration. This tutorial will explain the basics of using the next, function with a for loop, along with practical examples. The next, function retrieves the next item from an iterator by calling its underscore underscore next underscore underscore method. If no more items are available, the function raises the stop iteration exception. To prevent this exception, the default argument can be used to specify a default value returned when the iterator is exhausted. Combining the next function with a for loop allows you to iterate through an iterable, fetching items one by one. This is useful when you need more control over the iteration process or when working with custom iterators. To avoid the stop iteration exception when the iterator is exhausted, you can use a loop with a try except block. To prevent the stop iteration exception, you can provide a default value that will be returned when the iterator is exhausted. In this tutorial, you learned how to use the next function with a for loop in Python to iterate through elements in an iterable. This powerful combination provides flexibility and control over the iteration process, especially when working with custom iterators or when you need to handle the end of the iteration gracefully. Use this knowledge to enhance your Python programming skills and tackle a variety of iterative tasks. Chat GPT Certainly. The next function in Python is used to manually iterate through an iterable like lists, tuples, dictionaries, etc. It helps to retrieve the next item from an iterator. When you use a for loop, Python handles the iteration automatically. However, sometimes you might want more control over the iteration process, and next, allows you to do that. Here's an informative tutorial about using next, in Python for loops. The next, function is used to fetch the next item from an iterator. It takes an iterator as an argument and returns the next element in the sequence. Let's explore how next, can be used within a for loop. Creating a list, we start by creating a list called numbers containing some integers. Creating an iterator, using the it here, function, we create an iterator number underscore it here from the numbers list. Using next, in for loop, within the for loop, we use next, to manually fetch the next item from the iterator number underscore it here. The try block captures the next item from the iterator using next, and prints it. If the iterator reaches the end and there are no more elements to retrieve, a stop iteration exception is raised. We catch this exception using accept and print a message indicating the end of the iterator. The next function provides a way to manually control the iteration process in Python by fetching the next element from an iterator. This tutorial demonstrates how to use next within a for loop to iteratively retrieve elements from an iterator until it's exhausted, handling the stop iteration exception appropriately. This functionality gives you more granular control over iteration, especially when you need to handle iterators in a customized manner. ChatGPT